Hi, my name is Onsa and welcome back to Blues Junction. This is a City Skyline series where I build an American city and this is mostly fictional but mostly inspired by me. So, in this episode of Blues Junction, episode 4, we'll be building a different town than main Blues Junction. We are building the town of New Visegrad and it's not really a town because if we like city skyline scales the population way down so it could be if if it would be scaled up to be like a real realistic size city it would probably have like 20 to 40 thousand people but this is city skylines and everything is scaled down so anyway New Visegrad. This town is probably it was settled in the early 20th century or the late 18th, 19th century, and it was settled mainly by people from Central Europe, or more accurate, more accurately, Austria-Hungary, which means Czechs, Slovaks, Hungarians, maybe even some Poles. Yeah, I mostly wanted to make use of some Hungarian trams, so I had to come up with an with an excuse to use them. But yeah. it's it's a town settled mostly by the descendants of some immigrants from Central Europe. So anyway, this town has two tram lines which is pretty is a lot even for like Europe Europe a town so small would probably have only one line if it were in Europe and if it would be scaled up again. There is a scale issue in the city skylines. But anyway this city is built near a train line so I built a branch line there but there is no like way to go in a different way so you can only go in one specific direction which means connecting to this place is kind of a is kind of annoying so I might have to make like a turnaround in some place or something I don't know but anyway what what I'm doing now I am building the town and adding su suburbs and higher density buildings and also we just reached the big city milestone. Also I would like to apologize for this episode taking a bit longer to make. Yeah, when I made the first attempt to build this city it... I kind of forgot to save the game which is kind of kind of frustrating. Also, if you have noticed, at the beginning the downtown was al already complete, that's because I lost the footage from OBS. Because I turned off OBS and forgot that I recorded an MP4. Yeah, it took too long to like finish stopping to record, so yeah. It didn't save but anyway what I'm what am I doing right now I am building affordable housing because I heard there is like a housing shortage in America so I just slapped some affordable housing which are some townhouses that and they kind of look like commie blocks which we have in our city, it is in every city in Central Europe, there is probably at least one or two commie blocks. And there are several variants, I might go over that in a separate video. Tell me in the comments if you would be interested. But anyway, wait. we have now affordable housing in this city and also, yeah, I added these paths and parking lots because it would not be an American city without a parking lot. 
every American city has to have a parking lot. So, anyway, I am now adding trees because trees are pretty neat and yeah, it increases the quality of life of the city. And this is an older town, so it makes sense that there would be some trees. I'm now also adding some parking lots to the station. Also, if you may have noticed, I use a lot of different types of rolling stock. That's because there aren't really any different times. There aren't really like high quality, same like company rolling stock. So I don't have like the ALP 46, which is my favorite commuter train for like American cities. There isn't not like a ride sunset livery which is my favorite livery again there isn't like a generic livery version of it. there's just the nj transit version. i mean i can't play mass hd for that i should probably one day just bite the bullet and commission a recolor but i will just continue using different different transport companies because why not it makes the trains look more interesting so now I am building a small rail yard and I wanted to have some sort of way to store the trains because this is for now the only town with electric service like electric trains instead of like diesel trains so I had to have like at least a small yard for the trains to be kept overnight or something or when like waiting for next service just a way for the trains to be stored so I placed these ALP 46s and I tried to do some interesting combinations like having two locomotives and one on each side also some locomotives just randomly there yeah, just random combinations of locomotives and train cars because yeah, I want to have it a bit varied and not just like all the same I don't know how realistic it is but uh, I don't really care so now I'm connecting it to the train line and I ha had some really annoying issues with these catenary poles, which meant like I had to rebuild it because yeah, I used nodeless tracks for the yard, and I connected it with connected it with nodeless, which makes it like mess sense. So now I'm p just putting signals. I don't know how American signaling works, so. I'm just putting random signals there. And yeah. I'm also adding. Yeah. yeah, I'm adding a water tower because there was a water shortage there. Now I'm adding more of these, like. townhouses, which look more like commie blocks, to be honest. I wanted to have like a bit more space filled up in there because blank space in cities is not normal i read a book about it and if a place is blank like empty and there is nothing there it's just going going to be like terrain vague or something yeah it just is going to look weird so I filled it up with, with with houses, so there is at least some purpose to the area. And I also added lane markings on this intersection. So I thought that could be interesting. So, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like, subscribe and stick your thoughts in the comments. I would like to hear your opinion on the 
video about commie blocks and different types and maybe even like bowling stuff or something. So yeah, see you in the domain.